President Biden, remember him? Uh, everyone's talking about, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, everyone's talking about the, the two people running to replace to, uh, to follow in the White House. Um, but President Biden made an appearance today, actually kind of historic one. There's never been a sitting president uh, that has appeared on The View. Ah. And now, um, now there is. Not to that. I don't know if that was something he wanted to uh, accomplish before he left, but he did it today. And he did talk about leaving the, uh, the campaign. And he seems to have a different view of, of this than most people do. But hey, he's the one who stepped out. And this is what he's thinking uh, about why he stepped out. I never fully believed the assertions that somehow there was this overwhelming reluctance of my running again. I didn't sense that. Mm -hmm. And although the polling, as you said, Biden's polling was different, the fact of the matter is my polling was about, you know, we we're always within range of beating this guy. I stepped down because I started thinking about it. You know, it's hard to think of, I know you're only 30. <laughs> but it's hard to think of, it's hard for me to even say how old I am. <laughs> Stayed in the race, would you have won? Yes. Yeah. I, 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 I was confident mm -hmm. I, I, I would beat Trump. You know what I think is interesting? The popular idea is that he's very bitter about being pushed aside and that he went to the DNC and gave that speech through gritted teeth. But now I see he does seem a little bit calmer because he's in the situation where if, if Kamala Harris loses, he gets to say, I told you so. I would have won the race. He's sort of in a more comfortable position than actually facing off against Donald Trump.